And so, Father, I thank you for this morning. Thank you for how you brought us this far. Thank you for the rain. Thank you because it's a blessing to us. And we know we shall be blessed. We say, blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as we land at your feet now, speak to us. Teach us by yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And shout a better amen. God bless you very much. Thank you for coming. Now, this morning we're discussing vision equals prosperity. Vision equals prosperity. In other words, the prosperity of your life. How far you will go in your life. And that's why I say you should listen very carefully to these things. How far you will go in your entire life depends on how far you can see. Hello? How far you will go in your life depends on what? How far we can see. Nobody in his right sense, no driver in his right sense will run his own passenger into the dish when he can see. It's mostly when people cannot see that they run into such a problem. So before that person cannot see, what happened? And which simply means in life, that's how life is. If you cannot see very far, if you are not seeing very far, there is a possibility you might run into dish in life. And some of the dishes can be very, very dangerous. This means your prosperity, your awareness, your success in life depends on how much you can see. How far you will go in life depends on how much you can see. So therefore, prosperity in any aspect of our life is directly dependent on the type and deepness of vision that we conceive and we form our life on that we are able to nurture and form our life form. The more you are able to see, the more you are able to look ahead, the better your movement in life. And that's why if you are driving on Nigerian Express Road, you don't drive too fast, because you can enter into a dish at any time, into a pothole at any time. Sometimes potholes are the, the Man, you can close the door so I can reduce the, the wind so that uh, you can hear ourselves and can also reduce the what do you call it now? The breeze that is coming in. And that window too. Oh, that's that charge under it again. Praise the Lord. If it is tight, then you can leave it alone. Are we following, please? So the more the further you can see, the better your movement in life. Wherever you find yourself now, whatever you are doing in your life now, it all depends on how much you are seeing and what you are seeing. For example, now, if you think this program will benefit your life, you'll be here. If you think I can do without it, you will not be here. It all depends on how much you see. Let's see Proverbs 29, verse 18. Proverbs 29, Verse 18. And uh, I've also opened Osea chapter 4, verse number 6a. Osea 4, 6a. But let's start from Proverbs chapter number 29, chapter 29. I read verse number 18. The first part of it says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. Where the people cannot see very far off. We are they are blinded and they cannot see very well. Like the story I just told you now, a two last story that just happened just very close to us here. Because the driver of that car cannot see very far, the vision is very poor. Then people perish. Amen. Accident happen and people die. So when there's a poor vision, there's a possibility of someone perishing. Number uh, uh, four. Verse 6, Hosea 4, verse 6. He said, My people are destroyed. Please look at very well. He said, Well, who, who are destroyed? Who is talking there? So, we are there are no knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. 
And in Rephidah said, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Now, there are two things here. Like the case we talk about in the now, it wasn't their fault. They didn't have the knowledge that was there a day before. But now, say for that, because they rejected knowledge, we simply mean there are some people that we know that something is wrong. They have been warned, but they ignore the knowledge. It's like telling a young man that take care of yourself when you are seen young. Plan your future. Take care of your life. Do not allow the enemy to rob your, you of your destiny. But because they refuse to listen. You can press on the share. Here's what I get in the two times on the share. Praise the Lord. It's because they refuse to listen. They felt they want to enjoy themselves. They felt those that are talking to them are just talking out of ignorance. Then there's a possibility of them running into a very big problem. My people are destroyed because they lack knowledge. You can see the further you can see will determine how far you go. Now the question is what is a vision? What is a vision? Dictionary said, online dictionary said, the faculty or state of being able to see. The faculty or state of being able to see. For example, now, if, you, if I close my eyes and I am walking, there's possibility I will fall because I won't see very well. So what you can see, it means you have vision. Let's say, for example, as a man, you want to marry. As a man, you want to marry, and uh, you met this girl. And the girl, you see this, you say no, that this girl is wrong for me. Or as a man, you want to marry, you saw things that you know this man is, and this woman is wrong for me. Or as a woman, this man is wrong for me. But because you don't want to apply knowledge, you see, continue in that relationship. Then who do you blame? But if you can see and you understand clearly that this is wrong, then you can take care of yourself. So where there is no vision, the possibility of being blinded. So the faculty or state of being able to see is what we call vision. The ability to think about or plan for your own future. That's vision. The ability for you to think. The ability for you to think and plan for your own future. And plan for your own future. So vision. Do you know many people don't have vision? Because you don't have the ability to think or to plan. The ability for you to think or to plan for your own future is for vision. So as a young person, thank you, sir. You must be able to think and plan for your own future. Now the question you ask yourself first and foremost is that am I thinking and planning for my own future? Say for example, as a man, one day you will marry. Either now or later. As a lady, if you are not married, one day you will marry. Either now or later. Now, your ability to see yourself down and ask yourself, how do I want my wife to look like? Who do I want to marry? What do I need to look for? Any woman is beautiful. I know you say I want a beautiful woman. But it means that practically every woman is beautiful. Aside the facial beauty, what test do I want in a woman? Do I want, for example, a man was talking, he said, was telling me, he said, uh, a, a woman not married a man. After some time, he began to dislike the man. And they asked her, why don't you like the husband again? He said, because the man is too gentle. When I married him, he was a fighter. He doesn't like cheating. Anytime that you shoot me or shoot him, he will fight back. He can fight anywhere, and I'm liking like that. But now he's a pastor. 
So many people will shoot him, he'll be looking at them. They will talk of me, he'll be looking at them. I don't like that kind of a the man. The man I married is not this man again. The lady wants know what she wants. Abby. So you what she wants may not be good. But what she wants. I once watched a small video, someone sent to my phone. Mm. Lady took a woman to court for divorce. And they're asking her, what did this man do? But you heard the man is nice. I was like, if I stay too long in bed, the man will bring food for me. Cook my food. The man is good. He takes care of the children. He brings money to the house. He doesn't hide it from me. He doesn't shit on me. This man is nice. And, and, and the judge said, why do you want to leave? Because the man is too good. He said, he said, the judge said, what do you say? He said, the man is too good. He just said, do you know what you are saying? That is what every woman wants. Every man wants a good man. Somebody, just, I don't want it. It's too good. And that one I watched again, the man, they already took our husband to court. Why do you want to divorce? Say the man too is not is no longer the man I married. What happened? Say when I married this man was a drug drug um, drug smuggler. He was a policeman, was a smug, smuggling drug, using his office to smuggle drugs. But along the line, the man said, I want to repent, I'm no longer going to smuggle drugs. He became a normal policeman. And the wife was not happy with it. Because the drug was pushing them money. Now the salary is no longer, it's not enough. The woman said, the man I married was a drug smuggler. I didn't marry this one, it's too nice. I want to divorce. They may sound bad to you, but they are better than many of us, you today. They know what they want. That's what we call vision. Vision is your ability to think and to plan for your own future. As a woman, make a list. Before any man starts coming away, you have your list. This is what I want in a man. I want the one that will slap me every night before I sleep, that will beat me before I hear a word. Or I want one that is gentle, easy going, a child of God. You make your own list. So when a man comes your way, and, is, and in, from the way he's talking, you don't know he's a very gentle man, and you don't want a gentle man as husband, you say no. Because you know what you want. Hello? And if you're a man, you want one to be arguing with you, or possibly slap you if you are not uh, smart enough, you make your list. If you want one that is also good and uh, nice. So when a nice woman comes to you, every time she will need down, say, good morning, sir. Every time when you bring me food, you will need down. Every time when you want to talk to you, say, you will need down. You will not say, this one, I don't need the one that need that for me. I want one that will stand at the end and say, what is wrong with you? I'm a graduate, you're a graduate. You are working, I am working. If you have your list, when you come across such a person, if you know what you want, you either you say no, or you say what? Yes. No matter how beautiful he or she may be. This is where many of us are missing anything. So vision is your ability to think about or plan for the future you are imagining in your head. If you are not doing this, you will wake up one morning and discover you have married the wrong person. Or you discover one morning and discover you are in the future you didn't plan for yourself. Take for example what I'm doing now, I'm now. I've been planning this life since 2000 and uh, early 2000 when I was just finished from school. Even when I was in school, they have been part of my life. I've been, they have been called, they have been called me pastor as far back as 1991. When I just nearly gave my life to Jesus Christ. People have been calling me pastor. Even though I have not begun to even demonstrate it. But I love to be a pastor. So I knew what I want about my life. And I've been planning it for a very long time. So if you don't know what you want as a future, you will find yourself in the future you didn't plan for. Even if you are in the future you, you, that is good for you, you won't know it's good for you because you didn't have plan for it. So that's the vision. That is prosperity. Prosperity is the state of being successful, flourishing, thriving, or you are doing well, maybe financially, maritally, 
health-wise, emotionally, in every career-wise, you are doing very well. That's what we call prosperity. Now, prosperity is not only about money. Prosperity can be about peace of mind. You are where you want to be. Say, for example, I am where I want to be. I may not be having plenty of money yet, but I am where I want to be. If you are where you want to be, and you are happy about where you are, it's a matter of time, money will blow your way. Do you agree with that? If you are doing a job you like, you are happy about this job, it's a matter of time, everything you need otherwise, good health, good marriage, money, any other thing, we need to flow your way. So, first and foremost, you must know what you want and where. So, prosperity, or where you are going to. So, prosperity is being successful and flourishing in whatever you want. Therefore, according to our, our topic now, vision ensure prosperity. Your ability to see, I've told you that vision is your ability to think, or plan for the future you are imagining for yourself. So you are able to think for, and plan for that future. Ensure prosperity, excuse me, ensure prosperity and ensure how far you do well in life. And therefore, vision is important on what we have read. The first place said in Proverbs 9, verse 19, and verse 18 said, My people are destroyed, I perish. Because they lack vision. Now, what I said now, you don't have a list of what you want in a woman. You don't have a list of what you want in a man. You will marry anyone. You don't have a list of what you want about your future. You will get to any future you find yourself. Even with our marriage, we plan for our family, you plan for your children. If you don't have a vision, how your children should look like, what your family should look like, they will look like anything. So vision is very important. And that based on the knowledge you already have and you are planning. So knowledge is the strength of vision. You say that's why I say where there is no knowledge, my people are destroyed. Because you don't know what they are doing. So just see four things that determine your vision. Four things that, that will determine your vision will come to pass or not. Four different things that will determine whether our vision will come to pass or not. Abaku 2, verse 2 to 3. Abaku 2, I read from verse 2 to 3. Abaku, chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. Abaku is about the top um, books of the Old Testament. If you start from Malachi, the, uh, Zechariah, then you have uh, the um, Stephaniah, then Abacus. About a third of fourth book towards the end of the Old Testament. Abacus 2, verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the table that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Do a tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come to pass. And it will not tarry. Take yourself, my vision will come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. Take yourself, holy, my vision will come to pass in Jesus' name. Say to yourself again, my vision will come to pass in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But to say, and the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision. That's the first place you start from. You must write, I will give you four division. What do you want to write? Write it down. In a place that is safe for you to be seen it. I have um, two two different two diary that I'm currently using. This one and one other bigger one. Everything I will be doing in the next picture, including what we are doing now, I have written down long time ago. Before this church was planted, what we are doing now, 
you are sitting down, that you do this program. The one we do again after this one, they are all be written down. The program we have in August, you will have 12 next year at all written down. I'm always put me into the program and executing them. Even if there's only one person at the scale, I will still preach what I'm preaching now. Because I plan for it. Are we listening? That's the vision. I've written down. I will write down this and this we will do in June. What we do in July, they're written down. In uh, August, like that, like that. The next year, December. The hymn I will sing on December 9th for Kovova, Motimusila. So I won't be taken by surprise that Kovova Nako and Agbaro, what hymn do we sing now today? Because Kovova, no, no, many people do that. Many pastors on the day of Kovova, that they will choose the hymn they will sing. My own will put it down already. I know the hymn I will sing that day, and that night. Are you following me? To so tell you how far our plan ahead. I just look at my, my, my diary and look at what, what, what we, this book I want to do down. What, what is the plan? What do, I, what do I write down? I woke up with the night. Sometimes I write down what I want to do. That is how to survive in life. I would say, what well, I will say something. Anything I will say, please do it. If you do it, you will succeed. It's a matter of time. He said, write down what? The vision. Learn to write down your vision. Get a book. You can call it my life, my book. Write down what you want for your life. For your children, write it down. One day, your children might even come across that book and open and say, ah, so my daddy have this plan for me. And for that day, that should be pursuing that plan. One day, my, one of my books was said by chance. Let me check it. And was not telling me this day, that even the the preacher who we preach on the program, on the course left. That was before the church even started. You are still building. That's how to succeed in life. Write down the vision. That's number one. What's number one? Under the vision. And that includes the vision about your marriage, the vision about the work you are doing, the vision about the, the woman or the man you will marry. The half of secondary school, I told God, and the number of children I will have. But I have children by mistake. And say, this one come by mistake. It very rarely happens. And the name I will give them, they are with me. Many years, they from secondary school. And I keep improving on them. Are you following at all? So write down. Nothing should meet us by mistake. Many of them, Matthew Dumoto, Larry and Jeremy John, Masari Kiri, Oruka, Oruka, Larry Samo, Nami Tiki, what do we call this boy? And they were got pregnant for nine months. Too. Nine months. And within eight days, Nami running around to know the name they will give the child. It shows how serious they are. It shows what? How serious they are. Nine good months, your wife was pregnant. And in eight days, they only around to look for name. What happened for the nine, nine months? Even the boy, this is the name. Even this girl, this is the name. If you pray for the for nine months already, what about the people there for the past 20 years? God gave you all nine months. You see, you cannot pray on it. You have been working on it and in eight days. No wonder many people are given name, but they're not answering the name. They call her grace, but there's no grace in her life. They call her joy. There's no joy in her life. They call him Judah. Judah should make praise, Abby. But there's no praise. I want to praise God for his, in his life. You know why? They are all emergency names. They are not planned for them. It just come by chance. They call him Judah. They call him another name. Open, open, open. You come and follow one by one. Amen. Our life should not be like that. Write down the vision. And writing down the vision, not take us to the second one. They look alike, but they're different. Your goal. What's the second one? Your goal. You must have a goal. 
is not enough to have praise the Lord. Are you with me? It's not enough to wrap it down. You must have a goal. Now look at this. This memorial is a table. If they call it fashion designer. Now, do you know what it means to be a fashion designer? It means you are designing fashion. Abby, between here and the express, if you have to count how many tailors between here and express, take on to 20. At least you count 20 tailors. Okay. Between here and the express, it was a can just about uh, less than five minute drive. Have you? Yeah, to express about five minute drive. If you have to count the number of people between here and that express, more than 20, and you want to survive among them, you must have a go. Otherwise, you will never survive. They will crowd you out. And this man is on top of the he did something. That's why he's making it. He might be doing something, but even if you do something without a goal, you see now it. Somebody say Michael Jackson was a, a, a devil, he was worshiping devil. I may agree with you, but do you know just to sing in a concert on one day, Michael will ask for 1,000 hours. Can you be that? If we react for 1,000 hours, just for one single day event. If we ask for this trailer, trailer, this song they call trailer. Yeah. Trailer is the most sold album in the world, about 500 million copies. Guinness Book of Records is the most sold album. That album has about nine tracks. Are you listening? How many tracks? About nine. But Michael has 300 songs to pick nine tracks. How many songs? To pick how many? Eh? But you want to go and sing in a concert. You have only two songs. You have only two songs. He has 300 songs. You to sing nine tracks. Now tell me how we not pick the best from 300. Are you following at all? That's a man that has a goal. He knows there are too many musicians in the world. He wants to be the best of them. Tell me how many of them that are there 300 songs. Even the man is using the devil. He's doing something to promote. He's doing, his own effort is there. And God of heaven see the world effort. Look at this girl in Nigeria girl that just uh, instantly won Idabasi. Than one uh, Guinness World Record. One person try again, one person hour for what? Before a woman can stand, she's too trapped to these people for four days. Four days. She didn't sleep. She was standing cooking. Well, she can only sit down and rest five minutes every one hour. Are we, are we following at all? She can only sit down five minutes every one hour. As a matter of fact, they see four pay her on that. So they took seven hours from one hour. For not observing that five minutes, they gave her. Or she observed more than that. Now, she was standing cooking for how many days? Four days. Just to be the best in the world. Is she one of the best? Do you know that thing she did for four days? That was not the day she stand planning for it. I've been planning for a very long realizing how to live for 24 hours without sleeping. Remember, I went to visit yesterday night. I already sleeping this morning now. That woman must have been learning that let me just try and sleep two hours only in the night and see if we can cope throughout the next day without sleeping. And that they said, let me sleep only one hour throughout the night, and see if we can cope throughout the next day without sleeping. And that time, so let me try it. I'm not going to sleep at all this night, and see if we can go 24 hours without sleeping. She must have been reacting that thing. Otherwise, she can't do it. She will collapse. 
But shall be waiting for a long time. And now they just, just arrive, say, I'm doing it for a certain number of hours. And the world was watching her. And she was doing it. And she ended up doing it. So to be the best seller in your environment, you must go see your head down and have what? A goal. Because I want to be the best seller. Sir, I've told myself, if you call 20 ministers to come and push on the topic, and one of them, I will preach the best. That's my goal. Many people are preaching, but when I minister, you want to not only listen again, you want to go and click the audio, and to hear it again, and go and be doing it. That is my goal. And then just preach. That's why if I'm preaching for one person, or two person, or ten person, I will put the same effort into it as God will want to preach for 1,000. The same effort, the same way of preparing. Because I have a goal to be the best among my people. There are many pastors. What will make you want to hear me preach is that I am better than many of them. That's my goal. I want to be, I want to minister to the extent that people are hearing me, their life at some and hand. People hear me, their life are better. And how do I do it? I, I, that is, I also don't have the goal. Many of us don't have goal. I'm a businessman. What do I do to get me? I mean, listen. This is going to I don't want to go. I won't go to the shrine to go and get power. I won't go and get holy water that is green and put in my shop. Holy water and it's green. Praise the Lord. I won't go and do other things. And yet, I want to be the best among them. I won't do Rusha. I want to be the best among them. Then you will have a goal. Then, aside having a goal, you must begin to have plans. What's number one? Number two, have a goal. Number three, have a plan. Please, you must have a plan. And this goal it can affect any area of our life. I'm a barber. I'm a business person. I want to be a public speaker. I want to be a fashion designer. I want to be a mechanic. I want to be a doctor, a lawyer. Whatever I want to be, there must be a goal. Things that are playing ball here, sometimes I look at them. I look at them and I pity them. But as far as I'm concerned, they're wasting, wasting time. I will tell you why, why I think they are wasting time. Number one, time is precious and I feel that wasting it. Number two, if your goal in life is to be a footballer, this is from where you will start. If I want to be a footballer, for example, a good one, that I want my name to be known in the whole world, then I will start going to Adama Siba. Go and join people that are training there. Because people that are picking this player, that is where we go to. If Mario was in Nigeria, we come here. Answer me now. Let me know. Oh, sir, sir, I left Bagusi. It's in Nigeria. We come to this place. Where we go to? If it's in Badam. Head down now. Where we go to Badam? The stadium. To go and see boys that are practicing in stadium. So I want to be the best as a footballer. Where do I go to? To the stadium. In the stadium, there are gyms. I have to work on my physique. Somebody said that uh, Ronaldo and Messi, they are Ronaldo more, that he will be at least an hour before you, before every other person in the training, already training, an hour before. And when they are finished training, we still stay under one hour more after others have gone. Now, how will you know me better than all of them? It's at least two hours extra every day, more than everybody. Even if you are God, okay, assuming you are God, who will you, you bless more? Don't ask him putting more time into it. Go, oh, serious. Come, go, don't follow you. The poor people are very poor background. School, me, law. I want to play ball. Then, you know, they have to put the best into the ball to put poverty out of their family. 
forever. So, what you have to go, then you have a plan. Your plan must be created. So it says, the Lord says, in verse 2, say, and the Lord is after me, write down the vision and make it plain upon the table that it may run, that I read it. If you see my plan, as me, you are the pastor of this place, you you should be able to read the plan and follow it. How much more yourself? Write your plan in such a way you can follow it. Take for example, 2002, when I realized I want to be a public speaker, in particular, to be a preacher. Are you following? I want to be a preacher. I read a book, I read what I had. They said that if you want to be a public speaker, a speaker or a public speaker, you must be reading at least two books at least say, in a week. I told myself, that one is too much. I can't do that one. It's too much for me. I was served as a copper then. 2002 or 2001. I was a copper. The name of it. I said, I'll be reading one in two weeks. I'll be reading one book in two weeks. While my friends are buying electronics, buying things, as a copper, I was buying books. When I was coming, I carried a heavy load of books. Very, very heavy. I had my letter carrying that book. I'm telling the truth. I'm not lying. No. I had my letter. Just carrying my book. It was very heavy. All my little salary, aside it, I invested into books. Some of those are still with me now. Some of my brother didn't return. But many and some are still with me. In my life, small library in my house. But I thought I had my same life, small library was in my office before. It's in the house now. So that's my plan. I've read it to a book in two weeks. And I was doing it. While other couple are running at a woman, enjoying themselves to party, clubbing, and enjoy life, one year enjoyment. Like uh, coming to America. Bad man say one, one year of competition, 40 day competition. One year in German, me, I was busy reading books. But today I can say the what I read there has put off for me. I don't read much books like that again. But no, I heard it reading, I've eaten inside. I'm bouncing on them. So have a plan. You are a fashion designer, that's the name they call you. But you have never designed anything in your life. I have a plan. What should I do to be the best among all the so many people around me? What kind of, what should I start creating my own design? This design you wear. Somebody created it. This one I'm wearing. Somebody created it. Have you? Which one have you created? Create a design. Be unique. As a fellow, I'm not my mind. I will never disappoint any customer. That's one of your plans. One of the plans that will be the best in my field, I will not disappoint any customer. Have a plan. As a student, I want to be, I want to be the, I want to have the best result out of the school. What's my plan? So, the time of the day, I must read. So, the time of the night, I must read. I have a plan. Read the plan. If you don't have plan, all that will plan your life for you. All that will plan your life for you. They will take your life from you. They will help you to use your life the way they want. But if you have your own plan, then you can follow it. Write it down. Have your goal. Have your plan. This is what I want to be. Or this is who I want to be. The question is, how do I become that person? Are you following, please? If for any reason, if for any reason, I've had in mind, I will be so and so, but I don't know how to be that person, then go to the person that I know and ask. Sir, this is my plan. This is my goal. Or this is my goal. But I don't know how to draw the plan. Please help me. Then they help you. 
And that also affects your marriage. How to go the kind of woman you want to marry? Then write it down first. How they go to then begin to plan how do I get that woman? Where do I go to? Which church do I start attending? Which program? Do I, they call youth program now. And uh, see them, see how many are here now. Who knows? Nobody is going to be here today. And today, who I met the one that will marry her, that go and send a at your own And I know the funny part of life. Let me tell you the funny part of life. They may not even know they have missed opportunity. And God, they don't know they have missed opportunity. They will see the same thing over again. Are you following? Take for example now. Maybe you're supposed to be in under the bridge. Maybe they are doing a meeting there. And that meeting is supposed to be there. By all standards, ought to be there. And if I was telling that they said, uh, let me give you an example. Somebody was traveling, took a particular vehicle. In that vehicle, it was a soldier that one girl from was driving to Lagos and the person carrying him as a lift. And before you know, they start talking. I don't that man gave the lady a job. The girl they have no job, but got a job. Now, assuming that girl did not enter that vehicle, if she know she missed that man, she will not know. Sometimes things happen in the spirit. Because we don't know, we think nothing has happened. I told her, I'm going Because of your she said that don't miss. I believe I miss anything. And what she missed with the old thing, under 10 years, she could get it. May I have the open the mighty name of Jesus? Because our eyes are blind, no vision. We see nothing. Then we behave as if nothing has happened. Take another example. Maybe you are going on a journey, and the other people say, Don't pass that road, pass this road. But after your disobedience, you see, pass that road, and nothing happened. You go away and enjoy your life. Ah, I got a part of place when they were believing me. Thank God I passed the field. Those who are to pass the field, I said, pass the field all the same. And nothing happened. There are nothing happened. Does it actually mean that nothing has happened? Amen. There are nothing happened physically. Does it actually mean that nothing has happened? That's the problem we have sometimes as human beings. So therefore, we must have a plan. The plan is how, how do I achieve that goal? I have a goal and I have plans. One of the plans is to organize this meeting. One of my goals to touch lives. Young one, I see many young people that they don't know what they are doing. They don't know. What we are talking now, many of us have not heard it before. At least the way I'm saying it. If you are not here, ask me yourself. I think I'm not here. We are here, what I'm hearing now. So one of my plan is to make young want to hear what we are hearing now. And one of, one of my goals, one of my plan is to organize this meeting to achieve that. So as a go, they have a plan on how you will achieve your goal. Nobody will plan your life for you. Yourself must plan your own life for you. Nobody will plan your business for you. Your same will work. Plan your business yourself. Nobody will plan how your children will go or what they will become. I'm a father now by God's grace. God is a father by God's grace. We have plan for our children, his children for him. No, that is something to do. I can always say, oh, can you this is my plan for my children? And by next week, by next uh, time, I want to put their school fees there and there. I want to pay a little like that. They want to solve their exam. That's, that is the plan. But there's no money now. Can you help? That's where it concerns me, Abby. But the plan that they must pay for fees, it is all to do. Am I making sense? Nobody will plan your life for you. You must work, plan your life 
yourself. The husband you will marry, the wife you will marry, the business you will do, how your work will be, you must plan your life for you. If you do this meeting, if you like, go and be playing your life. I said, plan your life before and not plan. It's in your life. Is it my life? Is it your life? Live here and go and be playing and live as you are living before. You see your what? Your life. I'm a pastor here. Brother can help me. They can help me in Bible. You can help me in Bible. Mommy can help me in Bible. Mommy can help me in Bible. But if the Bible for them, for me to preach to people, is it their duty? Who's duty? This is my duty to preach to them. If I preach nonsense, I don't come. We have left them. Answer me now. No. But if I preach and they are blessed, will they come again? Even if we don't come again, they will say, oh, and when, when I went to that place, I was really blessed. You. They will always say, remember it. There are things others will not do for you that you must do for yourself. Nobody will teach any woman to be a good man. You can even teach. Nobody will, you can teach any woman to be a good man. But nobody will make any woman to be a good woman unless you make herself a good woman. Nobody will make any man to be a good man unless he make himself a good man. And all be, depend on plan, goals. I mean, on goals and plan. How to be the best father for my children? How do I achieve that goal? Be the best father for my children. The kind of father that I never have. How to be that for my children? So you must have your plan. That was the one thing. That was the one thing. Number two. Number three, oh, you are still reading that same uh, about two. But three now say, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Your goal now is not for now, it's for what? Vision, an appointed time. In that 10 years, this is what I want to be. So you must plan it. At the end, what will happen? It shall speak. In other words, it will come to pass. It is not lie. Do a tarry, wait for it. Do what? Wait for it. Sometimes you are working, you are working, you are working. You are not seeing results. As long as what you are doing is according to your plan, keep at it. It will come to pass. Even though it may tarry, it will come to pass. And that brings the fourth thing, which is your wants. The fourth thing, which is your wants. Your wants are your wish. What you want that we may likely help or hinder your goal from being fulfilled. Your wants. What you desire. No, 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 I'm going to that. Let me that, not that, 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 Your wants. Because I come to desire too. Your wants are things you daily want for your life. But it's either they are helping or they are hindering your goal. Say, for example, I want to be the best fashion designer in Ibadan. Hello. But I also like I also want to enjoy my life. Therefore, every money that comes to me, I use it to enjoy. My life. I never for one day say, let me just go and, go and buy six years in the market. Not to sew clothes for me, just sew clothes. I want to sew the latest design that I designed myself for me. So that when somebody says, Ah, oh, this is your clothes, I like it. Can you please sew it for me? I like the design. But because I love enjoyment, even when I have money, I don't know that. What you want may either help or key your dream. And can, that can be your way of sleeping. Maybe you want to be the best, but you sleep a lot. You're sleeping. Women, you carry. Men, no break. Friends, no selection. Any friends goes. Another part. One of the things that can kill your goal, your plan, easily is the kind of friend you have. So, ask yourself, what kind of self? What kind of people do I want to surround me for myself? 
So what you want out of your life now will determine what you want out of your life in the future. So take note of your want. I want this. I want that. I want to do this. I want to do that. Take note of your wants. What you want, yeah? is it in any way helping your goal or helping achieve your plan? You ask yourself that question. Hello? Are you understanding this? So ask yourself what you want. I want to have the best family in my community or in my generation. But what do I want now that can affect that goal? Do I want maybe I smoke, for example? I love to smoke and I want to smoke. And my wife is complaining. I don't smoke, you. Example, you know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And your wife is complaining that you must, I don't like smoking, I don't like smoking. And she's always fighting because you're smoking. And so go to have a good family. As long as your wife is fighting you, can you have a good family? Then you must stop smoking. Not even because the Bible says smoking is good, I mean it's bad, but because yourself, you want a good family. So take note of what you want. There are many things we want that has not to do with the goal we have for ourselves. You want a car, that is good. But buy a car now. We have to achieve the goal you want, or just a waste of money. That money for that car. If I am going to invest into my business, do you make any, any difference? This is how I'm using fashion designer. There are machines that are out there that if you had a machine, you over them come to your house. And that machine costs two million. And that's a two million. You have a car that can easily buy. You choose one. Do I buy the machine now or I buy a car? And you know, you know, if you have a car, you'll be a big boy. All the guests are going to have time. Is that what you want? Or to buy a machine that you need for your job? You don't, you're not looking rich, but that machine be fresh money for you, small, 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 small. You are establishing yourself. Before you know you are becoming popular. And the more people know you, the better your job. I mean, the more job you have, but you know you are getting more hands to work with you. One day in that five years, who no sees they buy the car? Even better. So what you want now, I want to enjoy. I want to this. What you want now? How is it affecting the plan and the goal you have for your life? That when you pay a little sleep, a little slumber, bring more what? Poverty. How many hours do you sleep in a day? To go through your plan. Do you even have a plan? Stop because of going through it or try to see how you can improve on it. Or try to see how you can achieve it, or try to even do something. There must be one of the plans that what should I be doing to achieve my goal? You have it. What should I be doing? Okay, I say, tell of example, every two, two weeks, or at least once in a month, I must uh, I must sew one new clothes, one new design for myself. But if I don't have the money for myself, any of my customers that come. I must sew one new that I've never seen before for all my customers, at least one in a month. That will involve financing me to others. I say, man, what's your goal? What's your want? What's your plan? I want to have the best of family, the best, the good woman to marry. What's my plan to achieve that? I want to be a good man, a good father, a good husband, or a good wife, a good friend. What's your plan to achieve it? One of the plan will be to read. You don't read anything about relationship. There is no way you will not mess up relationship. No way. If I ask many of us about here, how many books have you read on relationship? You'd be surprised. Somebody said that if you are to marry, don't marry unless you have read, read at least 15 books on relationship. But many of us don't want to read. They won't read anything at all. That was going to occur. The great relationship. There was a time one of my goals to be buying at least a book in a month. Many of the books you see in my store, some of them are newly bought. The other one, most of them, some of them, 
I told my when I was in my home office, I was part of the man to come to my office to come and say, I make up my mind every month, this I will buy one book for him. Before I didn't see the boy again, and why did I see him again? He owed me money. If he's coming again, the money he didn't pay, they said, What's he selling for me? He didn't come and say it again. Who is losing? I'm not losing now. So, what's your plan to achieve your goal? You must have a plan. You can have you can have a plan. Amen. And your plan are often affected by your wants. Your plan are often affected by your wants. What you are planning for. Your want is either to help or to destroy your plan. So very careful. And the last about that is your desire. Desire is like a want too, but the higher level of want. Desire is a strong feeling of wanting something. Amen. Strong feeling of what? Of want something. Want is still mind, but desire is stronger. Now, that desire to want something by all means, you ask yourself, this is what I want by all means. How does it affect my future? And that's for example, now, this day, the young one wants to have money by all means. How does that affect your future? I was telling somebody, I said, do you know one of the reasons why your old boy doesn't last, why they die? And their money die with them? It's because any money you destroy you. Because you won't know how to spend it. And I was telling that person, I said, one of the reasons why betting is wrong. Betting is very simple. It's against God's way for you. I, I, I don't know what about this betting here. All this Nigeria bet, football bet. It's a lie of the devil to destroy the life of the young one. Betting is devilish. Go and search out. Everyone that won betting in the past in millions, give them two years, the money is gone. Go and search out. Go and make a research. Everyone, if they, if they win the bet now, the, the thing will be good for them, the money will be happy. Give them two years. Go and check the, the money. Hold it on. The reason is because my one. Any money you didn't work for, you don't know how to use it. Number two, let's say, for example, we have never handled 100 million before. I've never even seen it in my life. I never handled it before. I now want a bet of 500 million. How will I spend it? You have never managed even 100,000. You have never managed in your life. They now throw 100 million to your, 500 million to your chest. You will misuse it. The first thing that you come to your mind is that you want to build a house. That may be a wrong step. You want to buy the latest of the cars. Let's say our munitions, all these are boys that are buying BB cars, all these are celebrities, so, 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 so called celebrities. Go and look at them. They must do dirty things to keep on their life. Because their priorities are always wrong. How can you buy a car of 400 million when you don't have a factory of 400 million? Is it? Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that if they give up on hundred million and now, maybe you be planning to buy a car, but you're not going to ask yourself, can I have a factory where they make sewing machine? Somebody will, that you your own design. And so, Father, I say thank you for this morning. Thank you for this teaching we have had. Father, I pray that none of us be guilty. Of British in Jesus' mighty name. From now and forth, our lives can never remain the same. Effort by the Holy Spirit. Give us goal and help us to plan for it. And let not our want or desire destroy our goals in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. As we go this morning, go with us. Preserve our ways. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. A clapping offering for the Lord in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord.